in a game celebrating stars past and present, it was the man at the intersection of the two who shined brightest Tuesday night. From the moment he walked out of the dugout, beginning his warm-up for the first All-Star game at Dodger Stadium since 1980, Clayton Kershaw was met with applause. When he was introduced during a pre-game ceremony while getting loose in the bullpen, a hometown crowd of 52, 518 erupted in one of its loudest cheers of the night. And before he towed the rubber for the first All-Star Game start of his career, taking the field to his usual entrance song of We Are Young by Fun, he took a step back and let himself gaze at the surroundings, a rare moment of sentimentality from the 34-year-old pitcher. Knowing that I'm not going. The American League won baseball's 92nd All-Star Game, prevailing 3-2 on back-to-back. Fourth inning home runs John Carlo Stanton of the New York Yankees and Byron Buxton of the Minnesota Twins hit against Dodgers pitcher Tony Gonsolin. Kershaw, however, was faded at his home ballpark and treated like the game's biggest star. I can't say enough good things about Dodger fans, people in L. A. In general, just how much these last few days, how much they wanted me to do this, said Kershaw, who has spent his entire career with the do. It meant a lot to me too. So that was really cool. There were other players, personalities and pulsating recognitions Tuesday night. During team introductions, former Dodgers fan favorites Jock Peterson, Corey Seager and Albert Pujols were showered with cheers. Representatives from the rival San Diego Padres, San Francisco Giants and Houston Astros were greeted with boos. And as each of the Dodgers' other five All-Stars was announced, the ovation crescendoed in raucous celebration. It was amazing, Dodgers outfielder Mookie Betts said. Anytime I can be a part of an all-star game, it's going to be amazing, but especially in your backyard. Historic figures were honored, as well. Dodgers great Fernando Valenzuela threw out the ceremonial first pitch. The team's retiring Spanish-language broadcaster Jamie Jaron was honored with a mid-game video, 